If we now open our product image controller, and what we're going to do here is create a constructor, which will take this previously created file upload service. So file upload service, and we're going to call it file upload service as well, add the dog blocks and initialize properties. It can be private, that's fine. Let's reorganize this import. And what we're going to start with, we're still going to be just returning a string for the time being, but we can start with this file upload service and we're going to use the method on it upload, which we've just created. And uh, this one takes the request and optional closure. We will add the closure later on, uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to put a note to do add closure processor. And for the time being, that's all we're going to do because uh, we will add to this in just a moment once we've created another service and then the repository, as I've mentioned in the previous video. Okay, so for the time being, we can close this controller. Let's uh, go to our services directory and let's create a new service called product service. So new class product service. And actually, while we at it, let's just go back to our controller and let's import it as well. So we're going to have it before the file upload service. So uh, product service product service and again let's update dot blocks and let's initialize properties let's just move it up make it shorter and there we go for the time being that's all we're going to have i'm going to go back to our product service and inside of the product service i'm going to start with a method uh, that will allow us to save the image so public function called save image and this method will take the product, the instance of the product. In this case, we're going to use a setable contract, which obviously our product model implements. Uh, rather than contract, it's called product. And then we're going to have the instance of the uploaded file. So uploaded, uh, it's, it's just not this one, uploaded, make sure that you select the Illuminate HTTP uploaded file instance. And that's going to be represented by the file variable. Okay, what this method will return is the instance of our asset model. And from here, for the time being, I'm only going to return this uh, asset repository, which we'll create shortly. Uh, and we're going to have the method called create there. We're going to pass product. We're going to pass uh, the type that we want to save in our case is going to be image from the app assets type directory and a class name and then we pass the instance of the file to it uh, sorry it's not going to be actually uploaded asset wrong it's going sorry uploaded file is going to be uploaded asset uh, the one asset which we've created earlier so that i'm just going to move this up here all good okay so for the time being and again to do add processors this is what we're going to add later on for the va variations a uh, and we'll also let's just add the dog blocks to it we're going to say save uh, product image and as I said, we need obviously an instance of this asset repository. So under the app namespace, we're going to create a new one called repositories. And here we're going to have contracts. And we're going to have implementations. And for this particular course, we're only going to have eloquent imp implementations. So I'm going to call it eloquent. Under the contracts, I'm going to create a new interface called asset repository contract and it's an interface and this interface will have public function create which takes a settable contract which is going to represent model then we're going to have string type and lastly, uh, we are going to have a uploaded asset instance as file. 
And these are the only mandatory arguments. Now, the following two will be optional. Array of variants and the closure with the processor again. So I will set equals null by default. Let's import oops, this closure, generate docs, simplify, and it's going to return asset, instance of an asset. And let's add the message here, which will be create new record for a model. Uh, I think that's it for this create method, uh, which we obviously, as you may have remembered, we obviously called this already, but we need to inject this, the instance of this repository to our product service. Uh, the next method that we're going to need is going to be public as well, next sort for, and it takes string, the type of the record, and it's going to return integer, basically giving us uh, the next sort for the given record. So for instance, uh, if we had already one asset associated with the product and we add another one, then that's going to increase it by one. Uh, get next sort for a type. And the last method that we're going to need is uh, remove. So public function remove, uh, remove, and this one will take assets and returns void. Uh, remove record, return void. And what I'm also going to say for this param is that this param might be of a collection, illuminate support collection, or up asset. So either it will either uh, have a collection of assets or just a single one. Okay, let's refactor this. That's all good. And I think that's all in this interface. So now let's create the, the actual implementation, which will be asset repository. And obviously this asset repository needs to implement asset repository contract and let's add the method steps and before we do anything I'm going to inject it to our product service so constructor oops not that and we use asset repository contract we're gonna call it asset repository update dog blocks and initialize property. And now we obviously have access to it. Okay, let's go to our asset repository. We're going to start with this create method. And the create method has all those arguments. We're going to return. We take our model, then we're gonna call assets method on it, which is the relationship with the, the assets and then create. And here we're going to pass type, which is passed through as an argument. Then we're going to have disk, which we'll obtain from uh, the assetable, uh, sorry, uploaded file, uh, uploaded asset instance of file disk. Then we're going to have visibility, which will come also from this uploaded asset and visibility. Then we're going to have sort, which will come from our this next sort for, and we pass the type. Then we have path, file path, then we'll have original name, which will come from file original name. We have extension, which comes from file oops, extension as well. Then we have mime type, so file mime. Then we have size, file size, 
then we have caption, which we will by default uh, set to the file original name. So file original name. And lastly, we're going to have variants. For the time being, I am just going to set it to an empty array. And again, I'm going to put a note to do uh, implement uh, processor uh, generating variants. Let's now have a look at this next sort uh, for method. However, before we do anything else, I need to actually change the signature slightly. So if we go back to our repository contract, what I'm going to expect to have here as well is the assettable contract, uh, which will give me the model instance that implements it. In our case, it's going to be product. Uh, if we go back now, make sure that that obviously matches as well. So assettable contract model and if i just uh, now pass this here as well so we pass the instance of the model that we received from within this create method and here what i'm going to do is uh, simply create a new variable last equals model we're going to go for assets and then we're gonna uh, use the where clause type equals type and then sort it, which is using this uh, query scope. If we just go back to uh, the, the assets and then we scroll up, you'll see we're using the straight with the scope sorted, which means that all of the records will be sorted in the ascending order. So just going back and then we simply get them all. And then the last record uh, from this collection and then we're gonna return checking if is not no last and that means we have already record asset record for this model in that case we're going to use this last and the sort field adding one to it so if it's the second record with the sort two this is going to give us three otherwise just give us one and that's everything for this method let's just generate some dog blocks and let's use inheritance or so inherit doc. The same is gonna go for the remove method. We won't be implementing remove method yet. And then for the create, and that should all now work fine. Back in our product image controller uh, and the store method, we can use this product service and our save image method. Uh, let's just wrap this file upload service upload with it. And the first argument needs to be instance of the model that implements uh, a settable contract. So we are going to inject the instance of the product and we'll get this product because it's one of the uh, parameters of the root. So if we go to the roots, you'll see that we uh, have for the post, we are requiring the product, which will be uh, resolved into the instance of the product by this ID. So we can now pass it as a first argument product and that should now upload and save the image. So uh, one other thing that we need to do is to create a new service provider where we actually binding the uh, interfaces, um, the contract is also repository contracts with the implementation. So let's open the terminal. And let's run PHP artisan make provider repository service provider. So that's now been generated. Let's reload it from a disk. Oops, there we go. We can close that for now. Uh, we can remove the boot method. And what we need to do here is just this up bind and we're gonna go for and uh, that is but just a second if we go back to the repositories we have asset repository okay so asset repository contract class needs to resolve to asset repository and that's everything oops sorry it's not an array syntax it's just comma and that should now change the error that we are actually getting when we run the test. So if I now save and close all these files and let's just go to our tests, if we open our 
product image test. If you run it now, you'll see that the error uh, message is zero. Okay, so we are expecting zero on this one. Sorry, there's, we're receiving zero and we're expecting one. Let's just use without exception handling, see what this is telling us. And it tells us that asset repository contract is not instantiatable, of course, because we still haven't added this service provider to the app config. So open the config app and under, uh, and under the providers, right at the end, we're gonna add it. So it's repository service provider class. And now that it's been registered, if you run it, we should receive a different uh, arrow and we do. So this is going to the line 133, which means that we pass the line when we actually are certain that there is one asset. That means that we do have this asset. So the image has been uh, saved to the database, the reference to it saved to the database, obviously the file has been uploaded. So in the next video, we're going to continue with our implementation.